Okay, for this one, we're going to install PF Sense. So we're going to hit New PF PF Sense, which would be our firewall configuration. All right, so I already went out to the web, downloaded. Let's look for the ISO. Okay, so I already downloaded. It's a zip file, so we are going to have to extract it. And we're gonna extract it to the same location. Okay, so once you go to the website, uh, PF Sense, you're gonna choose the AMD. Uh, we're actually gonna do the image ISO, uh, choose the closest location to you. Um, Here's the file, we're gonna right click. Um, I mean, you're gonna to have to use 7-zip and you're gonna extract file here. And it's gonna go and extract the file. And you have the image now right here. So once you have the image, uh, you go to new, we call this PS, PF sense. And we're going to choose other because we're going to import that PF sense in. And it's a BSD and it's going to be a free BSD. And you're going to choose a BSD type and we're going to do 64 bit. Okay. And so that image BSD free, free BSD, click next. Uh, I'm up the RAM a little bit, a couple CPU just to get it started. And for memory, and we could do about 25 gigs. Gigabytes to get started. Finish. Uh, it's going to be right there. Go and double click it. Oops. And uh, we're going to have to do some settings here. Um, we're going to go to network. Uh, adapter 1 going to be the NAT network. So this is the private network. And then on the second adapter, we want to do host only adapter. So we can have the uh, 192 IP address. While the uh, NAT network will be our private network, which is the 10.0.0. 0.0, .0 uh, network okay so that network number one number two virtual host only uh, host only adapter so we get there all right and we're just going to boot up And it's going to go through the installation of PF Sense. This is your firewall configuration. And it shouldn't take too long to get it installed. Okay, so now we're going to accept terms. Uh, we're going to just install the PF Sense. Uh, we're going to do the um, auto proceed with installation as these are other settings that you can change uh, which is going to try to get up and running uh, we will do no redundancy and this here is the uh, storage that we uh, create uh, created for it and Okay, and uh, it's not enough. Uh, chain selection. We're gonna hit the spacebar, get that mark for the disk that we set up for it. Hit OK. Uh, we're gonna hit yes because we wanna erase everything for it. And it's gonna start the installation for it.
first type exit to reboot. Okay, when finished, type exit to reboot. So So now it's rebooting. And it's gonna go out and get the uh, IP address for this uh, Pacific uh, uh, client or this uh, operating system. And while that's happening, we're just going to accept this. Actually, hold up. Um, want to install? On this, to cancel. That one, that one, that one, that one on that space. Yeah, let's really look at this installation. We're gonna hit no here. We're gonna cancel, exit, we're gonna accept. Uh, we're gonna install, and let's install the UFS uh, guided disk setup. Uh, we want to use the entire disk. Yes, we sure. Uh, we want to use massive boot record. Yes. For that, so the whole 25 would be good. I'm gonna commit. And it's gonna install. So the installation is complete, we just go ahead and uh, reboot it. We're almost there. While well, that's getting rebooted up here, we're just gonna open a Ubuntu so we can actually uh, can make the connection in and take a look at the settings. process with installation we do no redundancy Okay, so once it's already installed, what we had to do was um, we need to remove the ISO from it so it doesn't reinstall itself. So it's in the settings storage. Uh, this is the ISO and what we want to do is remove the ISO out. So now it's empty and we're going to launch PFSense. Uh, that's why it kept on looping to install over and over. While that's happening, we are um, we're open a Ubuntu here. Um, go ahead and log into it. OK, 
Okay. So right now it's trying to get its um, the IP address for it. And let's wait till we get that. Okay, so now we have the IP address here on the LAN. Uh, the LAN is 192 and their WAN is 10.0. Uh, we can actually open this up. Uh, on Firefox, we're actually going in the terminal do IP space A to get the IP address, which is the 10.0.2.29 uh, on the website. We're going to type 10.0.2.30 We're going to try something new here. We're going to just power off PFSense here. Um, once that's fully off, we're going to settings, go to network. And adapter 2, let's just turn adapter 2 off and we're just going to keep the NAT network here. Go ahead and power that up. Uh, I just skipped uh, a lot of the settings up here because um, I only have just the one network here. So I want to keep this isolated to the uh, 10 network. 10.0.0.0 network. So while it's still configuring and boots completed. Okay, so now we have uh, a WAN of 10.0.2.30. And we're going to open the browser on our Ubuntu machine. And we're going to type in 10. Dot zero dot two dot thirty. Uh, it says potential risk because we're trying to connect this into the PF sense, and we want to accept the risk. And by default, the username is admin, and the password is PF sense. Never save. And now we're going to go ahead and get this PFC set, set up. Okay, so now let's go ahead and head next to get this set up. There's only about nine steps to this. Uh, hit next. Uh, the host name can be PFSense. Uh, we can choose a domain name. Um, we can call this org. We call this org. The name name for firewall will be org be org dot local uh, our primary DNS can be Google at 8.8.8.8 and the secondary can be Cloudflare at 1.1.1.1 one dot one dot one dot one. Okay. Okay, and now I'm just going to uncheck this override DNS, hit next, uh, time server, uh, we're going to use their time uh, NTP servers, network time protocol, uh, and then you can choose your time zone, I'm just going to leave it at ECT, what do we got here, Asia, got America, Uh, we do North America, uh, North Dakota Center. Okay, all right. Uh, we want to have DHCP on so it can automatically give us IP address. Remember, this is a firewall. And admin password. You're going to create a new one. And retype it. And next, reload PF change. Uh, PF since change, reload in progress, pre wait. All right, add sorry, configure. 
Uh, we can check for updates if you want. There's a new release. Um, okay, we're up to date. Update settings. Cool. All right, uh, and then we went back and just uh, hit finish. And now we are done setting our PF Sense. Uh, and there's everything that we need for a firewall configuration. Um, all these settings in here, you can change firewall, service, VPN, uh, static, DNS. So a lot of stuff in uh, PF Sense from this little virtual box. And there's a few settings uh, in here that you can change. Uh, if you hit the square at the dashboard, you hit the plus sign on the right hand here. Uh, we can look at uh, firewall logs uh, right here as um, some widget. We can also system information, which is here. What else can we put in here? We're not doing VPN. Gateway interface. Information. Uh, we can add interfaces. So now we got interfaces, firewall, interfaces again. So let's just go ahead and close this one. Uh, we can, this is support. We can take that out. System information here. What else can we add? Okay, so it looks like uh, this 10.0230 is this uh, PF Sense. Since we run this uh, Ubuntu here uh, in the terminal, uh, we got uh, the 10.0229, which is also over here. It says that it's successfully logged in from this. But let's get a new IP address, which we're going to we could do sudo. DH, DHC client dash R to release to release it and then we just do sudo DHC just client to get a new one and we're good there now we run IPA again to get the IP address now where IP address is a uh, 10 Dot zero dot two dot thirty one originally it was twenty nine and then if we go back here and we could just hit refresh on here and see if R is connected in here or I could add on DNS uh, DNS I was uh, let's see here let's look at that Nothing for DNS. TP interface statics. Statistics. Nothing there. And that will complete the PF Sense uh, firewall configuration. There's a lot more you can do with this, but uh, let's just stop here for this installation.